guys, it's the Med Studio and today we'll be going through some tips and advice before starting clinical years or hospital placement. So let's get started. Tip number one is to be proactive. As a medical student you might sometimes feel like you're in the way or unhelpful. During the early years most of us will definitely feel like we're the designated curtain drawer. But remember you deserve to be there as much as anyone else and this is an essential part of your education. So if you ever feel like a spare part, find some friendly faces on the ward and ask them if there's any way you can help. There are also usually junior doctors on the ward who are more than happy to provide you with some teaching. Focus your studying on what's more common because that's what's going to come up in the exams and that's what you're going to see on a daily basis. Of course, once you've got these foundations sorted, you can read up on the more exotic conditions. If you're not sure how to study smart, check out my video tagged above. Most importantly, to do well, you have to study consistently. Even less than an hour of revision every day can add up to reduce stress during exam time. Of course, being proactive is incredibly important, but there is no point waiting around the wards if there's no work to do. So make sure to utilise your time to maybe go to a different ward or complete your own revision, if necessary. Medicine is tough as it is, so you don't need to waste any more time than needed. A lot of medical students are worried about what other people are doing, how well they're doing, how much time they're spending on studying. Don't let other people add to your stress. Everyone works hard and no one is innately smart at medicine contrary to what people say. So if your friends are doing question banks four times a day and reading every textbook out there, just remember that you're not them. As cliche as it sounds, everyone is different and you may feel like you're the only one struggling, but people are very reluctant to broadcast their difficulties. So keep focused on yourself. My next tip is to have a thick skin. Get used to rejection. Most patients are friendly and happy to talk to you, but some are going through some of the most difficult times of their lives. And the last thing that they might want to do is talk about it. So don't take things personally when patients say no. I'm sure most of you know that a career in medicine consists of long days. Although it varies with what specialty you're in, you'll definitely have your own fair share of stacked days with teaching sessions, placements and much more. Of course prioritise your studies but understand that you're never going to know everything. Give yourself a cut off time every day where you're going to get to do what you want to do. Something to consider is to understand whether spending another few hours on a particular topic is really worth your time. Would you rather get another couple of marks in your exam or take some time out for yourself? Medicine is considered a competitive course and some students can be rude and unhelpful. It's a hard course already so be considerate to your patients and those who you work with. Everyone in your class is going to be a doctor anyway and no patient is ever going to ask you how well you did in your exams. So help each other out. And that brings us to the end of this video. Hope you guys found it useful. Please remember to like, share and subscribe and follow me on Instagram at The Med Studio.